Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some ESP32 projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 12. Volos created a miniature messaging device that sends short messages using two-way ESP Now communication. Despite its simple appearance, which consists of a custom PCB, some tactile switches, and an M5 stack Atom S3 development board, it works effectively. It's important to note that the device is only suitable for short-range communication, and each message can be up to 20 characters long. However, it's a great way to communicate with your friends. Number 11. If you are fond of RC toys, this cute little excavator will steal your heart. John made this excavator in his lab completely from scratch using his 3D printer. The excavator is controlled by an ESP32 microcontroller, powered by rechargeable batteries, and operated using a PS3 controller. It took him a lot of time and effort to build this, as he carefully attended to every minute detail to ensure the proper functioning of the excavator. His efforts truly paid off, as the excavator performs exceptionally well, whether in terms of precise movement, performing specific tasks like building tiny cabins, moving objects, climbing boxes up to twice its height, or even flying a toy plane. Number 10. To protect your home from intruders, an anti-theft alarm system is essential. If commercial options are too expensive, you can take a DIY approach like Giovanni. He used an ESP32, a magnetic reed switch, addressable LEDs, and other necessary components to create a secure alarm system for his house. A passcode is required to open the door, otherwise the alarm gets triggered. Each movement activates an LED sequence and also sends a notification to his smartphone. He used the ESP Home Framework to operate and monitor the alarm, allowing him to easily modify other security parameters as well. Number 9. Many of us enjoyed folding and flying paper airplanes in our childhood. Max has taken this concept to the next level by adding a few components to create a remote-controlled paper airplane. Surprisingly, this paper airplane can be controlled with your smartphone. The frame for holding the electronics is made using a 3D printer, but he also demonstrated how to make a frame using popsicle sticks, eliminating the need for a 3D printer. The main challenge is assembling all the components precisely onto the plane, but with Max's guidance, it can be done easily. Once completed, the flying plane looks amazing. Number 8. Sachin created a magical box that lights up the LED corresponding to the cap color when the switch is pressed. This means if he presses the switch with the red cap, only the red LED will light up, regardless of the cap's position. While this might sound magical, it's actually a clever use of hall sensors and magnets. Each cap contains two magnets that are placed in different orientations. A hall sensor is located in the hollow pole, and when the cap is inserted into the pole, the sensor reads the magnet's orientation. This activates the LED corresponding to the cap's color. Altium is a PCB design software that is both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high-quality PCB designs. With the new Altium 365, you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. The Octopart gives you real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 7. Eric created a simple GPS speedometer. This application runs on an MCU and is designed to display real-time speed and direction information, along with other GPS data such as coordinates, altitude, and the number of connected satellites. The project is developed using LVGL, or Light and Versatile Graphics Library, for the graphical interface, with the graphical widgets created using SquareLine. The application consists of two screens. The first is the speedometer, which tells you the current speed and the direction it is heading. The second one displays the GPS information, connected satellites, and other details. Number 6. Many people enjoy listening to the radio, and internet radio is a particularly popular topic these days. Mirko took this concept and created a DIY internet radio using a TFT display and an audio module. The radio has a retro look, with a display in the middle and two speakers on either side. 
A rotary encoder next to the display allows users to scroll through and select from the available channels. Finally, a power switch with a notification LED on the panel completes the DIY radio's look. Number 5. Max designed a portable retro audio player that plays music and audiobooks from a micro SD card, either through its internal speaker or a headphone jack. The user-friendly interface features a 2.8-inch IPS screen and mechanical buttons. These classic buttons, along with a rotary encoder, give the audio player a nostalgic 90s vibe. The player can play, pause, rewind, and fast-forward tracks, and it even has an automatic save and resume feature. The screen displays an animation of tape reel spools, adding a charming touch. Number 4. Next on the list, we have a smart exhaust fan system powered by the ESP32 microcontroller. It uses an MQ2 gas sensor and the DHT11 humidity temperature sensor to keep track of gas levels, temperature, and humidity. All this data is seamlessly transmitted to the dynamic Blink dashboard, providing you with real-time insights. If the system detects too much gas levels, the fan turns on to clear the air and keep things safe and clean. Moreover, you can control the fan manually using the dashboard, offering personalized control based on individual needs or preferences. Number 3. Volos was inspired by the sound of a relay module to create a DIY toy gun. At first, it might seem ordinary, but in action, it can captivate even adults. He assembled some wooden pieces and added a laser, a relay board, a potentiometer, a display, a battery, a switch, and other components. The toy gun has three operating modes. In the first mode, the relay makes a single click sound. In the second mode, it produces a short burst sound. In the third mode, it creates a continuous burst sound. The ammo status is displayed on the screen. To reload, simply pull the potentiometer backward, and you're ready to go. Number 2. Next on the list is a decibel meter made with a sound level detection sensor. The physical setup is simple. Besides the sensor, you only need an ESP32 module, an OLED display, some wires, and a breadboard to build it. The sensor can measure sound levels ranging from 35 decibels to 115 decibels, with a measured sound level displayed on the OLED. Real-time sensor data can also be monitored on a customized dashboard, providing a visual and graphical representation of the recorded data, which is helpful for analyzing noise levels over time. Number 1. Unlike other DIY weather stations that only check temperature, pressure, and humidity, Giovanni's creation goes the extra mile. His weather station not only monitors those basics, but also keeps tabs on wind speed, direction, and rainfall amount. What's even cooler is that Giovanni didn't buy any fancy gadgets, he crafted his own wind speed meter, wind direction indicator, and rain gauge right in his lab. He set them up on his roof for accurate readings. The data from the sensors can be seen on a local display LCD or a web server. So, whether you're at home or away, you can easily check the weather updates. Simple, right? Comment below the one you liked the most. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will see you again in the next video. Till then, goodbye.